All right, what's up dudes and dudettes? This is Noel on PC, head of the ERD here at the KSP. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, welcome. Welcome to the channel, you must be new here. Everyone here is friendly. So today, as you've seen, we are doing a, well, we're trying to do an RCS to the moon and back with a Kerbal. I've seen people do the RCS to the moon and back, uh, you know, on, on YouTube and whatnot, the Scott Manleys, the HOCs. The, uh, what I never see them do though, is stick a Kerbal on it. I'm sure they have. I'm sure if, I'm sure you guys will like link one, like, oh, see, he did it. I'm sure he did, but I've, I haven't seen it. I've only seen people do the tiniest of little probes. So we've got a parachute, a Kerbal, the chair, a lot of the support that goes along with it. It's a, it's a bigger craft, I would say. So it took a lot more uh, planning. Yes, something we don't often do here at the ERD. Let's plan things out. Typically, we kind of fly by the seat of our pants, much like Jeb here, who is quite literally flying by the seat of his pants. Do we see a shadow? Anyone sees a shadow? Oh, it's going to be like right below me. Below me. <laughs> okay, we got to start shedding off some of the speed. I'd like to land on this lip. That'd be nice, but it looks like we're going to overshoot it. We're going to end up inside. Of course, we're coming down on a nice hill. You know, that's, that's how we like to do things. Let's see if we can just basically come straight down. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we'll come down, hopefully not in the super slope. Let's do a quick save. There we go. Just in case things go awry. Nope, I can't. I can't zoom. So we're at the mercy of one speed. Still doing great on fuel. We brought a lot of electricity with us, just in case. All right, 43 and we're at 38 meters. Where's the shadow? There it is. Oh, this is so weird. I think I'm driving by the Kerbal. So I'll have to change to the uh, control from here. Like, this seems to be straight up and down, even though it's not straight up and down at all. Oh, we did it. All right. Because I know we've got at least enough fuel to probably get back into a Kerbal Kerbin orbit. Okay, okay, there we go. Just letting it settle a bit. Are we good? We're good. We're good. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save. There we go, quick saved. Okay. Moment of truth. I'm going to try and get this guy out of the seat. Just so that I can put him back in and hopefully have him. Oh, while we're here. <laughs> while we're here, we might as well science, right? EVA report, we'll keep that. Take a surface sample, we'll keep that. Plant a flag. Why not? Where are we? I can't figure that out. Apparently in the flag animation mode, you're stuck watching it. Okay, uh, RCS moon uh, in back. Nice. Okay, yeah, where are we in proportion to the other stuff? Oh, okay, so it's well away. That's good. I don't like flags all mashing up against each other when you've got like eight flags within a kilometer of each other. It gets a little busy. Nope, you're gonna make me work for it, aren't you? Whew. Okay, now are you in there, right? Oh, that's much better. You're actually. There you go. That's how you do that. Okay, we're going to quick save, even though it just auto-saved. Moment of truth. What are we going to do? We're going to go control from here. There we go. See how that just changed? 
I think the chair's orientation isn't quite up and down. I think it's pointing a little bit some direction. Even though it looks up and down, it can't be. Because on that land, that was pretty sketchy. It was pretty, pretty sketchy. All right, here we go. We're going to quick save one last time because everything is okay right now. Let's do it. Apparently we got to go that way. Get to some height. Start with a wee bit of height. Alright. Let's get this thing home, shall we? Alright. We did it. A couple of reloads, some crash and burns. We got him home. We got him back to Kerbin. I have thrown a trajectory that I believe to be near the Kerbal Spaceport. Whether or not it actually is is a different story. What we don't need, we do not need this rear end anymore. I don't think. No, we shouldn't. Okay, so we've got our parachute deployed just in case there's no electricity in this thing. That's something I foresaw. So yeah, okay, deployed, check, check, and check. Okay, as long as he separates away, I think we're done. There we go. We are done. We're going to deploy that guy so that when it crashes down into the ocean or whatever, maybe they'll be able to find it. And we are on Kerbal time. All right. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, we are definitely going to hit land. Whew. Oh, geez, what is that? Was that... Was that part of our craft? What was that? It's hauling ass, whatever it's... Whatever it is, is cooking. It's really, really cooking. Alright, it looks like we might come down that mountainous region. I'd like to come up a little short, but no, it looks like we're probably going to plunk right down on Kilimanjaro there. Kerbin Manjaro. Oh, there's the chute. Chute is out. Guess we don't need RCS on. That's just silly. Little Jeb. Captain Jebediah Kerbin. Kerman. Our star athlete, our VIP here at the ERD. So yeah, it does look like we're going to come down maybe on the side of the mountain, which is that's really unfortunate because there's a really good chance he'll just roll all the way down and kill himself. And if that happens, well, we'll have to have some kind of a, you know, like a Jebediah funeral or something because he's been instrumental. He would get a proper send off from the KSP just on on me that this is set to open at 500 meters which may very well would be somewhere under that rock so I want it to open early <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye on that hill and my altitude I'm going to leave this window open just in case I got to open my chute I can pretty much just pop it up here to 5000 Speed's coming off good. This is a nice head-first descent for Jeb. He loves this kind of stuff, you can tell. He's an extreme sports enthusiast, I'm sure. Beautiful view on this side of the Kerbal Mountains. Okay, so we are going to have to do something. There we go. We had to start slowing ourselves down, otherwise, you know, kaboom. Um, wow, that's really slow. If I cut it, we're dead, so I can't shed any weight or anything. So we're pretty much at the mercy of, uh, of this. What's odd is that, you know, I had it set to, I don't know, 15 or something like that, and it opened at 35. So that means that it has some kind of a non-existent laser finder that looks straight down and says that's 1500. It's not 1,500 feet from sea level, it's 1,500 feet from the ground. 
which, as I'm saying, is very odd because there's no, there's nothing that would tell Jeb how high he is. This thing exists for us up here, but he is just a Kerbal on a, on a joystick. There's no display or anything that tells him how high he is. He's guessing. He's also upside down. I mean, that would be pretty disorientating. All right, so we're coming in, we're coming in hot. Coming in 3.8. That might hurt Jeb. That might kill him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. My big worry is that he's going to roll all the way down there. That will undoubtedly kill him. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Boink. Oh, for a split second, it said space center. I thought it said recover. I would have recovered. Oh, God. I want him out of that fucking... God damn it. No. 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 Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. I'll put a not safe for work title on this. Fuck. Oh, man. That bums me out. That, uh... That really bums me out. I should put a flag here. Would I remember where this spot is? Maybe, actually. It overlooks the valley. I'm going to take a screenshot. And we might come back here. And put a, a monument of some kind. I'm in shock. I'm in a little bit of a state of shock. <sighs> Jeb's dead. Jeb is legit dead. We just saw him explode in front of us on what should have been a pretty routine re-entry. Came up short, fell in the mountain range, and right there, Jebediah Kerbman was killed. Jebediah Kerbman crashed into terrain. Well, guys, I'm not going to say I hope you like the video, because I already know the answer to that. I doubt you'll share it. Who'd want to see a snuff video like this? Guys, I hope you like, comment, share, do, do all the things you guys do as YouTubers. Until next time, on this very somber note, cheers.